have personal insecurities made you stubborn and unreceptive to God's plan? I hope not. Welcome to the Daily Devo. I am Vince Miller. This week, we are in 1 Samuel chapter 8, and I've titled this chapter, When Our Insecurities Define Us. Today, our text is 1 Samuel chapter 8, verses 18 and or 19 and 20. It reads, But the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, No, but there shall be a king over us that we also may be like all the other nations and that our king may judge us and go out before us and fight our battles. Well, this here is a powerful example of human stubbornness, is it not? I mean, these people sound like small children throwing a fit. And the Israelites, despite being warned by Samuel, and Samuel just enumerated a long list of things that were going to happen if they did this, they still demanded a king. Samuel clarified the consequences, and they refused to listen. They so desperately just want to be like other nations that they ignore the wisdom of God's messenger because their hearts were set on their own desires. They were stubborn. I mean, how often do we find ourselves in similar situations in life? We may not be desperate for a king, at least maybe maybe not given our time. But we have all stubbornly pursued our own plans, have we not? Like Clark Griswold, (laughs) we have our own ideas about our vacations, and we want them to go our way. It's only when our way disappoints us do we see the whole situation and the vacation another way. How many times have you been there? That's why this irony is set before us. But let's be a little less trivial now. We have all been stubborn at some point. We have all ignored the truth of Scripture. We have all ignored the wisdom of godly counsel. We have all ignored the the nudge of the Holy Spirit. Then what happens is our hearts become hard and hardened. And then, therefore, the truth will not seep in. And at that point, we miss and dismiss the warning that directs us back to the path of truth. You know, this situation right here reminds us of how stubborn we all can be, me included. And sometimes we need to stop and examine our hearts. Sometimes we need to spade into the hardened soil of our hearts and become more receptive to God, to wise men, to wisdom, and to truth. So do that today. Take a moment today to seek God's wisdom in any area where you have been stubborn. Because there is some place where you have been stubborn. Pray for the humility to listen to God to have the courage to follow his guidance, and then share your thoughts and reflections and even maybe your attitude with a friend and invite them to walk with you in this new experience of faith. I love you guys. I pray this has blessed you. If it has, share it with someone else, and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.